Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 6th of 2020, well, it is titled Mars Panorama from Curiosity. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image, or in reality, a set of images taken by the Curiosity rover on Mars. And over a thousand images put together to get a complete panorama of Mars, looking 360 degrees around the spacecraft. Now, the spacecraft here is at the center and kind of distorted because of the way the images were put together. But off in the distance, we can see the surface of Mars which may not look all that different than a deserted area here on Earth. So we can see uh, various rocks uh, strewn out there, and we are looking off in the distance. Now at the very edge, we can see the wall of the crater in which the Curiosity rover was landed, and that is the Gale Crater. And it is within this very large crater, and up at the top of the image, that is the wall of the crater uh, it, that in which the rover is exploring. Now, further off, we can see the uh, peak of the crater. When a crater occurs, uh, material will rebound. So especially such a massive impact, creating a gigantic crater like this one, uh, material will rebound back out in the middle and form a central peak. And that is the mountain, Mount Sharp, that we see to the right-hand side. So uh, we, that is the central portion, and that happens very similar. Uh, uh, analogous thing would be throwing a rock into the water and watching the water splash back up. Well, during the intensity of an impact, the same kind of thing will actually happen with the rock, as we can see here. So that is what that material is rebounded up from this massive impact that likely occurred billions of years ago. Now, looking uh, in the ahead, we can actually see the uh, tracks of the rover. So you can see some of those where the rover has traveled and many things it has discovered, in fact, giving us some very good uh, reason to believe that Mars did have liquid water on it in the past. So some of the clay deposits, some, it's found some evidence of sedimentary rocks and other type of things that are associated only with liquid water. Now, liquid water cannot exist on Mars today because of the atmospheric pressure. It is far too low to allow liquid water to exist. So now it is all frozen water, but at long, long ago, it will actually was liquid water on Mars, which gives us the possibility that maybe life was able to form at some point. So maybe there is some kind of life, and this rover and the new rover, Perseverance, which will be launched in just a few months uh, towards Mars, will give us, again, chances to look for evidence of that life. Is there any kind of microbial, very simple life that would exist on Mars that either existed or could still exist today? So it's one of the things that we've been unable to confirm or completely rule out to this point, and future rovers will hopefully be able to solve this and find out the answer for sure. So that was our picture of the day for March the 6th of 2020. It was titled Mars Panorama from Curiosity. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Under the Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.